Hey you guys, it's Brittany. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I have a Goodwill Bins haul for you guys, and I know it's been a hot minute since I've done a video on my channel. Um, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know um, a, a few videos back, I kind of gave you a life update. So if you're interested in knowing about a little bit about my life, go back and watch that kind of vlog style update video. Um, but I know a lot of people might not care. So today we have a classic Goodwill Bins haul, and this one is a little old. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I am putting myself on blast in this video. Um, this haul is from December. <laughs> and I'm filming this at the end of September. Ugh. It's been uh, in the back of a closet, just in, in trash bags. So I have already gone through everything. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five. Well, I have four bins and one bag. This bag is what I'm actually going to personally be reselling. And then the four other bins are full of things that I'm going to be taking to buy sell trade stores. I'm not going to go in depth into showing you what is in each bin because I don't know if everybody's really that interested in it. Um, but um, if you are, I guess leave a comment down below and I guess I could do a video on what I take to buy sell trade stores. But just in a nutshell, I have a whole bin full of kids clothes where I, uh, I usually get about a dollar 25 to a dollar 50 on average per item um, and i will sell to like once upon a child or kid to kid um, i have a whole bin of men's clothes where my local play-dohs and uptown cheapskate love like any and all men's items so i will typically get about anywhere from three to four dollars per item and then i have a whole bin of women oh there goes the shoe whole bin of women's items i do need to clean these shoes up real quick um before taking them play-dohs and uptown will buy them for about three to four dollars a piece as well and this isn't oh sorry i'm shaking my camera <laughs> whoopsie daisy um this whole bin it's not a whole bin but there's about i don't, I don't know eight to ten items in here that i'm going to be taking to um, a local kind of modern vintage buy sell trade store is called pavement. There's one in Houston and in Austin. I've been to the one out in Austin and they only bought like three items, but they paid me like 40 bucks for them. And I was like, holy crap. So if you guys have a pavement where you live, go and check them out. Um, they are very, um, what's the word curated to be like that vintage kind of vibe, but I have a few things in here that I might also real quick. This is like a Bob Ross t-shirt, some kind of bright knits on this like poncho sweater, and then like a sweater vest style that I know I'm pretty sure they're gonna buy because it's now in that fall time. So I set aside that because I'm gonna be taking it to that location along with some other items that I've set aside. So that is what I'm taking to buy, sell trade stores to get on average, I guess for most places, three to four dollars for women's and men's, pretty cheap for kids stuff. I'm kind of not going to be picking up kids stuff anymore. I've learned a lot from going through this old Goodwill bins haul um, of what I'm going to be doing in the future because a lot has changed since December of 2020 to September of 2021. So I am, I'm definitely a exposing myself in this video and I'm also going to be keeping editing very minimal because well I just have a lot going on I just kind of need to save on some time so you guys are going to get more raw me in this video so there might be more pauses hearing me mess up but um I just I need to do some quick and easy editing so without further ado this is the stuff that I'm actually going to be reselling myself hopefully by the time I'm putting this video up on my channel the majority of this stuff should be listed so if for whatever reason you see something that you like um, it should be in my Poshmark closet or my Mercari store whichever you prefer and you can pick it up so um yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So up top, I'm gonna start with the shoes. I only have three pairs of shoes that I'm actually gonna be reselling myself. Um, these, of course, there's like a mixture of all seasons because this was back in December. I did get some good fall and winter stuff, so that was nice, but this is a summer piece. Sorry, my, my dog just interrupted me. Um, but this is like kind of like a summer to fall transition piece. It's just from Style & Co. It's not like a bolo brand, but I just really like the style of these uh, ankle strap closed toe kind of jute bottom sandal. These are really cute. They're size seven women's. Um, and hopefully these will sell for anywhere from 18 to $22. All right, next, I guess I don't have, oh, I also forgot to mention, I've kind of changed setup again. 
in my house for where I'm going to be filming. So uh, there's that. These are some Lucky Brand suede kind of cut out little booties with the wooden stacked heel. Um, got these from the bin. I do need to clean them up a little bit. There are some, a few little marks on them. Um, but overall, they were in really good condition. And these are a women's size. Let's see. Nine and a half. So these are definitely a really good transition piece going from summer to fall. So I need to get those listed pretty quick. Um, and I really don't need to clean them up a whole lot, just a little bit. These are really good bolo find. Um, I don't think I've ever found these at the bins or thrift store for that matter. Um, these are Dr. Martin's. And I know what you're thinking. These might look like really dirty, but it's actually a manufactured kind of wax look to these Dr. Martens. Um, but I've looked them up and I should be able to sell them for anywhere from like 90 to 120 bucks. I know it's kind of a big range, but um, they have the 12 eyes on them and really cool when you flip them down, you have your floral lining. So definitely need to get these listed soon. Um, because how cute are those for fall? Love that. That was a really good find from, um, this good old Ben's trip. Um, I guess I forgot to mention it should be in the title or the thumbnail at this point, but, um, everything was 99 cents. I got everything from the South Austin Ben's. I do not know if the pricing is still the same at this time. Um, but yeah, everything was 99 cents and over 75 pounds. I ended up buying with somebody else. So I only ended up getting about 70 pounds. So I paid right around $70. Um, and I think I ended up with about 80 items. So that's about 80, what is that? 88 cents, 90 cents per item. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be getting a really good return on investment on all these, even the stuff from the buy, sell trade stores. I'm going to be making a pretty good profit. So, um, jumping into these clothing items here is just a cute little novelty print. Abercrombie and Fitch a little sweatshirt, a little knit sweater with some penguins on it. Super cute for Christmas. Um, it is a size small and I think I just picked this up because the print was really cute. Um, let's see, what is the material on this? It does not say. That. I just really like the little novelty print. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention, all of these items have been uh, completely cleaned and or steamed. Um, so it's all ready to go to be listed. Um, my little puppy is biting some cardboard boxes, so I'm gonna have to probably cut this out and take care of her for a second. All right, I think she's preoccupied for now. That's also another fun update that you guys, if you haven't watched that previous video, we got a puppy. So if you wanna see what she looks like, go check out that video because this video is gonna be very, you know, kind of cut and dry, but it's a classic. I love this as a reseller myself. Um, let me go back to the sweater kind of keep with the sweater trend. So this one, there's nothing crazy about the brand, but it is a size 4X. And if I have the chance to pick up plus sizes and it's like a cute kind of style or like a good basic for one of the seasons, I will definitely pick it up. But it kind of just has, I guess you consider that a mock neck. I don't, eh, yeah, you can't really roll it down. So I would say it's a mock neck. Um, just a really cute red knit sweater. It is a 4X and the brand is just, CST Sport. It is cotton, um, but it doesn't really seem to be shrunk. Um, and I did let this flat dry. So um, yeah, really nice basic for fall. I hope to get about, uh, I would say anywhere from like 20 to $25 on this. Really cute, good for fall. And I guess winter as well, because it has like that red color. Um, let's see, moving on. I don't think this is a, well, I guess it can be a fall transitional piece. I really liked just like the boho paisley design to this. It kind of reminded me of like Sundance, but the brand is Earthbound Trading Co. I don't know if it's that much of a bolo. I really just picked it up based on style, but it's like the short sleeve kind of open front cardigan with this really pretty, I just, it just was like a fall color palette. So paisley boho type of print uh, i'm looking to probably sell this anywhere from 18 to 22 dollars maybe all right this next one i was really i remember being excited to find it has been such a long time so it was when i was going through these items it was kind of like 
a mystery box almost, but I do remember finding some of these pieces. I did go with my mother-in-law, so I think she helped me find some of these. Um, but this is the brand Woolrich, which it is a nice bolo brand. It sells pretty consistently for most resellers. Um, this is an extra large pink, just plaid flannel. Nice button up. And it does have like just the classic pocket tee up here on the front. But yeah, I really liked it. It should just be, what is this, 100% cotton? My puppy just keeps interrupting me, so I am gonna have to edit this video more than what I wanted. But anyways, this is just a really pretty pink color palette for fall. Um, just kind of like that pretty preppy kind of classic style. But it is Woolrich, so I am gonna hope to get anywhere from about 25 to $30 on this piece. All right, moving on. We have just the brand Loft, and it has like this open cold shoulder, but it is a long sleeve striped top with the stripe hemline down here at the bottom, like I guess more thin striped, and it's like the big chunkier stripes up here at the top with the cold shoulder. So that's why I decided to just go ahead and sell that one myself because it does have like that unique detail to it that I can include in the description. It is just like a cotton and viscose blend, so nothing too crazy with um, the materials, but it is a size extra large, which is another reason why I'm deciding to sell it on my own, but just looks like a cute little um, staple for like a capsule wardrobe. Um, hopefully get about 15 to 20 dollars on that one. Next is uh, J. Crew Mercantile. It is a size medium. And it's just a cute gray cable knit sweater. Uh, oh, I also forgot to mention that I am now modeling stuff. So that's new. That's kind of one of the reasons why I kind of changed up everything. This is just 100% cotton, but I thought the cable knit will definitely sell for me this season. So that's why I'm selling that myself rather than a buy sell trade store. Hopefully get about $20 to $25 on this one. All right, next up is Madewell size small. Madewell, actually, I know it doesn't, it's kind of like a slow seller for a lot of resellers right now, but it still sells pretty well for me. This is just a basic, it is just a, um, it's like a sleep thermal, sleep dress. Ellie, you can't be in here. Okay, here's my puppy. She's being naughty, so she's gonna have to go into the other room. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> Sleepwear dress. It is a size small. Um, true to size, but I just thought it was a nice little cozy basic. I know people are kind of getting out of the cozy type of wear. Well, I don't really know. It's fall, so I will look to get anywhere from about 18 to 22 on this um, because it isn't really a substantial piece. It's just like a good basic for uh, the cooler months. There's that. I kind of have a theme going on. Kind of like the reds and pinks and grays. I like it. All right, next is another Woolrich. This is an extra large. Just a quarter zip. Kind of like a little mini hound's tooth kind of style to that. It's just a nice lightweight jacket. Um, hopefully get about, oh, uh, let's see. With an extra large, I would say about 20 to 25 on this as well. All right, next is a cute little piece for a capsule wardrobe. I don't know, that's kind of like my go-to thing, but um, this is the brand Layliss. And it was just a very well-structured piece, has the cute polka dots on the mane and then stripes here on the collar. And I just thought it was a nice fun little long sleeve shirt for the fall. It is a size large and nothing too crazy with the material, just like a polyester rayon blend. It does feel really soft to me. Um, but yeah, I thought it was really cute. It gave me kind of anthropology vibes. It's not, I don't, I don't think this brand is sold there. I guess I'll look it up and put it on the screen if it is. But um, yeah, it also has like the side slit down here on the bottom hem. So just a few little fun details that I can include in the description to hopefully sell it. Um, but I don't know, I'm always drawn to um, closet staples, but like having like a fun flair to it. So I really like this one. Uh, let's see here. Um, 
All right, this next one, it's nothing really too crazy. It's from Life is Good, which some of their pieces can do really well. This is just a women's extra large, another kind of sleepwear loungewear dress. Oh, you can see my stomach, whoops. <laughs> um, and it just says dream on it, it's a little graphic, but um, I think based on my comps when I checked when I was doing this, washing everything and folding everything, I believe it was gonna be about 15 to $20 on this one. Um, yeah, I don't know, I just thought it was cute. And I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it myself because I know a lot of my buy sell trade stores, I don't really think they accept sleepwear. I guess I could try it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and attempt to sell that myself because it's long sleeve, it's the fall time. All right, this next piece, all right, is Brooks Brothers. It is a size eight, and it is a very well-structured plaid short sleeve dress. It is about a knee length, um, and then it has like this detail here on the back. Um, it is a dry clean only. Um, it was still in really good condition from when I had it in the bag and when I picked it up from the Goodwill bins. Um, it was recently dry cleaned when, at least when I got it, um, and it smells like it was as well. So um, I didn't really have to worry too much about that, but just be mindful of that when you're at the bins. If something is dry clean only, you might need to go get it dry cleaned. Um, but it is polyester and spandex, so it does have like that nice stretch to it. But I got this and I'm just selling it myself. One, because it's Brooke Brothers and uh, two, because it's like that classic fall and winter pattern. So, and it was in really, really great condition, which is another reason why I picked it up. Um, I think I did a pretty good job when I did go through this haul um, when I was picking everything out way back when. There weren't that many flawed pieces where I used to accidentally pick up a lot of flawed stuff because I didn't thoroughly look over it. Um, so I was kind of impressed with myself finding all these items that weren't, there weren't too many items that were heavily flawed. I think I had to donate two items from it. All right, I think the rest of these are pants and bottoms. So this is just, um, Made in Love and Taylor Loft, um, and I have sold this brand before in pants, but I decided to go ahead and sell these myself because they are this fun maroon corduroy pant and with just a skinny leg. Um, it is a size, let's see, 26 or a size two. You can't see that far away. Hello, I gotta get back into the groove of filming again, you guys. 98% um, cotton and 2% spandex. So it does have some stretch to it and corduroy is really in right now. Um, I've started to research trends where I haven't before. Um, and a lot of the buy sell trade stores were letting me know that they were looking for corduroy. So if they're looking for corduroy, I have corduroy. So I just decided to go ahead and sell this myself just because the brand isn't on point. They might not accept it and I could probably go ahead and get about I would say about $20, anywhere from like that $18 to $22 range on these. Um, and I think I forgot to mention the Brooks Brothers. I think, I don't know, I haven't, I don't think I ran the comps on that when I was going through my haul and cleaning everything. I think I would expect anywhere from like $40 to $50 because of the brand. My puppy's not happy that I kicked her out. One second. All right, next up is a skirt from the brand Lush. Um, it is a size small, but it's like this kind of cloud, cotton textured look to it. I don't know, well, I wanted to say quilt. I guess it is kind of quilted. It's like a quilted cloud look, but I thought it was really cute. Um, it was in good condition. Uh, I just, I don't know, I think it'll do well. So maybe anywhere from like 18 to $22 on this one. All right, let me see. I'm gonna have to make a little semi stack in the back. All right, so next we have some Little Girl Lucky brand shorts. So I'm not gonna be selling a ton of little kids stuff, but I am just gonna sell the stuff that I know I can make a pretty good profit on. These are just the Lucky brand Riley shorts in a little girl size five. Um, and I did comps on these and it looks like I can get about 15 I would say what 12 to 18 dollars is the range on them um, and likewise this is a lucky brand size six of the riley short with a lighter wash 
with a newer tag. So that's why I'm going to go ahead and resell those myself. So hopefully anywhere from 12 to 18 on each of those. Um, if for whatever reason I can't sell them, I don't know, by next springtime, then there is a local consignment store that sells kids stuff. And I know they'll do well there and sell for about the same price. Of course, I will have to uh, take less. I think they you get 40 or 50% of the selling price because it's consignment. All right, next up, um, just a good, it's not a good brand, but it's just a solid brand. It's Universal Thread, sold at uh, Target. It's just a size 10 or 30 inch waist, which I will, from now on, only sell bigger sizes than Universal Thread because they sell better. Um, but this is the high rise jegging. And I know some people are like, no, jeggings out and skinny jeans are out, but uh, they still consistently sell for me. Um, actually, I'm really low on jeans, so I, that's why I'm also gonna be selling them. It's just like a nice charcoal, charcoal? <laughs> charcoal, smoky kind of wash. Um, has a little bit of like whiskering up here, but overall in pretty good condition. So hopefully get about 15 to 20 on those. Um, let's see here. All right. Likewise, bread and butter, Old Navy. I don't even need to show you that. It's an extra large pair of olive green, army green type of lounge shorts. Um, it is still very hot in a lot of the Southern states. So I figured I'll just go ahead and sell these, but usually anything in like an extra large or more. Oh, to, I'll take that back. Anything large plus an Old Navy sells pretty quick for me, especially if it's kind of trendy or it's a good closet basic it sells pretty quick only for about whatever 10 to 15 dollars but if you're getting something at the bins for a very low cost of good then that might be something you can consider in your closet just a thought um next up is some nike kind of sweat joggers they're cropped then it just has like this nike lowercase graphic on the side and these are a women's 1x i thought it was an extra large Women's 1X, and like I said earlier, if I can include plus size in my closet, then I will. So these will probably sell for about $12 to $18 as well. Next up, we have some more American Eagle, size large, long. Let's see, and these are just another closet basic. Um, these are kind of like leggings, but they have this cool moto design here at the bottom, which is why I'm deciding to sell those. And it has like this slimming feature here on the side. I don't know if you're going to be able to tell. Kind of like a contrast panel, but it's the same color. Um, kind of gives that slimming a look, effect, whatever you want to call it. Probably get about 12 to 15 on those. American Eagle, I usually always pick up um, if it's in a good basic or something trendy because it just sells. It's a good bread and butter. Um, these are Articles of Society in a size. 26 and it is a very pretty kind of forest green evergreen kind of color and it's just in that skinny leg um i know skinny isn't super in anymore but um, i do think that these will probably sell about 18 to 22 dollars for me and what's up next we have let's see uh massimo also sold at target i think Gosh, it's been so long. Size 1030, which is why I'm gonna go ahead and sell that myself. It is a high rise short with just some nice distressing. So those will probably sell about 10 to $15 for me. All right, likewise, another good bread and butter, just Nike dry fit. I don't know if you can see that. Cute little running shorts. They are a size medium. I thought they were small. But say maybe I'll keep them, but yeah, size medium. Um, those consistently sell for about 10 to $15 for me. Um, next we have Zara. Um, this is a size six. This is one of their little, it's not the full Zara brand. I never know how to pronounce it. Trafluck. I'm probably butchering that. T-R-A-F-A-L-U-C. Um, I have sold this version of Zara before and it sells well. These are a, are these high rise? Did they tell me? Let's see. Just some shorts. I don't know. I'll have to measure the rise on them, but some distressed shorts from Zara. Um, some people just really love Zara. So I went ahead and picked those up. Size six, they'll probably sell for about 15 to eh, 
because we're coming out of fall. I don't know, I'll say around the $15 mark. Really interesting. Oh, the camera doesn't really pick it up very well. These are just Forever 21. Um, just, it is a little bit newer. It is a size large, but these are some like running Reflectix kind of shorts with like an elastic waistband and a zipper on the back to put your keys in while you go for a run. Um, they have a cool, it's like, it's not really silver. I would say in person, it's more like a pewter. <laughs> Has like a very hint, a very small hint of purple. Um, and it does have the inside lining. So you don't have to wear underwear, but you might want to wear underwear. These are just really fun. Just an interesting little piece I decided to grab and go ahead and sell myself. Probably get these sold for about the $12 to $18 mark um, just because they are really nice material and you can't beat that kind of reflective look to make sure you have that safety while you're running. But all right, I also forgot that I had a few items hanging up. So this is also from the same haul. This is the brand May from Anthropology. It's a size large. And it's just like this cute little summer blouse with a little raw fringe hem. This next one is from Forever 21. Um, nothing too crazy here, but I really like the boho Aztec look to it. And it is a size large. This next one is a Banana Republic. I believe it's a wool blend white chunky knit sweater, size large. And it's like that all over knit. Um, let's see what the material was yeah so it is it has 25 percent wool in that so that is a good little piece for winter and fall and last is j crew extra large and this was a linen blend just pretty blue and white striped summer summery kind of dress i am going to go ahead and resell it right now because you never know if anybody's going on vacation and they're looking for a piece like that. But yeah, these additional four items were a part of that haul. So each one was about that 88 to 90 cent range. Um, yeah, you guys, that is it for today's haul. Um, I don't know exactly how many pieces there were, but um, I believe about half of it I am taking to buy sell trade stores and the other half I am reselling myself. I weighed it about 35 pounds for buy sell trade, 35 pounds for me to personally resell. So that is it for today's haul. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, by the time you see this video, the majority of this should be listed if you are interested in anything. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. My phone is blowing up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for coming back to my channel and being patient with me during this life recent crisis that I've had. Um, but I'm slowly getting to the swing of things. I am I've rearranged. I feel more inspired. So hopefully we can get back to some consistency, but thank you guys. I hope you have a good one and I'll catch you next time. Bye.